Welcome to the Photoshop in 5 series, where today, in less than 5 minutes, I'll teach you how to remove unwanted subjects or objects from your photos in 3 simple steps. Selection, Removal and Touch Up. First, we're going to start with some easy to use selection methods. That way, no matter the job, you're always going to have a method to remove your subjects. The first is the Quick Selection tool, or W. Simply select around the subject or object you want to remove and Photoshop will select what is inside. This works best with space around it. Second is the lasso tool or L. This is good if you have a steady hand and for smaller or simple subjects, simply draw around them. If you need to move the canvas whilst you're doing this, hold down left click and hold spacebar at the same time to move the canvas. The polygonal lasso tool or L works the same but with straight lines you click between and is a little more forgiving if your path is not quite right. You can also hold space bar to move the canvas. Third, we have the quick mask mode. Hit this button to activate it, then select the paintbrush or hit B. Everything will be painted transparent red and this shows what we are selecting. Make sure that the hardness is 100, opacity is 100 and flow is 100. You can find these settings in the option bar located at the top of the screen. To adjust your brush size, hold Alt, right click and slide left or right to change it. You can also go up to the options panel to change it as well. Now you can paint over your subject. Remember we are making sure if possible to leave a little bit of space. When you are finished, hit the quick mask mode button again and your painting will become a selection. We want to invert our selection so simply press Shift, Control and I at the same time and our selection is ready to go. The final method is the pen tool or P. Simply click to drop a point. When you drop another point, the two will connect. You can hold and drag on your new point to make the line curved. Hold the Alt button and press on the middle of the curve point if you want to continue with a straight line instead for your next point. If you don't, the line will continue in its natural curve when you make your next point. This tool has so many options and cool features, so be sure to check out one of Photoshop's other amazing tutorials to learn even more about the pen tool. Once finished, go to Paths, Control click the path in the box and your path will become a selection. Now I'll show you how to expand the selection for those methods that don't leave space around the selection. You can simply go to select, modify, expand. The number will depend on how big your image is. 15 should work well for this image and your selection now has some room to make filling it even smoother. Now let me show you where the magic happens with the content aware fill tool. For the automatic option, hit control backspace to bring up the fill panel. Set the contents to content aware fill. Make sure color adaptation is ticked and hit OK to let Photoshop do its magic. How incredible is that result? If our subject's a little bit more complex or the background's a little bit more difficult, we can actually manually select the data we want to fill with. Go edit content aware fill. Here you can choose what data is used to remove subjects. We can change the opacity of our selection here and the color if it clashes with our image. So I'm going to choose red. Keep all these other settings as is for now. This preview window will show you how the fill will look with the info you have given it. This is looking great. If I wanted to remove some of the selection or add to it, I simply select the brushes at the top and hold Alt and right click as you slide your mouse to change the size of your brush. I'm going to remove everything except the beach around this young girl to make sure it doesn't sample from it. My preview looks great, so I'm going to hit OK. Again, perfectly blends the image to remove the subject. For our final step, let me show you how to touch up your removal so that they're always seamless. Let's follow this process again with a more complex removal of this blanket that touches our other subject, who is the main focus. Again, we will remove anything we don't want to sample from, so anything that isn't the backdrop must be removed. Then we hit OK. Highlight both layers, Control J to duplicate them, then Control E to merge them. Let's choose the clone stamp tool. And now we're going to set the flow to less than five and a low opacity to help us blend. Here we hold Alt and click to choose our reference point. Then wherever we next click, hold and paint, we'll paint from our reference point, the little plus, so we can blend. Did you see that? I went too wide and my plus started referencing my subject to paint with. To avoid this from happening, make smaller brush strokes and take your time. I slowly painted the center and worked my way out until I had a gradient I was happy with. Constantly using the Alt click to get a new reference point, trying to always focus on a natural blend, setting my flow low to help me do this. Now you have touched up the removal and look how seamless it is with this beautiful photo. If you want more Photoshop in 5 content, other tutorials and amazing works, hit the subscribe button and follow Photoshop. And as always, keep creating.